Rewards for the most meritorious. Princess Kate inherits Queen's rarest 800,000 pound diamond crown. Though the Queen's will is private, it's likely she made a catalog prior to her passing, listing which pieces of hers would be passed down to which of her relatives. Catherine, Princess of Wales, who is said to one day be Queen, will likely inherit some. The diamond diadem headpiece is one of the most symbolic pieces of jewelry in the royal collection. Queen Elizabeth II wore the crown several times during her reign, including to her first state opening of Parliament in 1952 and on the journey to her coronation in 1953. She subsequently wore it to all state openings and for official photographs, including those used for British and Commonwealth coinage, banknotes, and postage stamps. One of the rarest pieces in the Crown Jewels collection of 23,578 gemstones is the George IV State Diadem, officially known as the Diamond Diadem. The Princess of Wales will then share the privilege to wear the prized Diamond Diadem. It's estimated to be worth nearly £800,000 today and is one of the most symbolic crowns in the royal collection. It's particularly special because it's strictly reserved for sovereigns and queen consorts. The queen wore the diamond diadem on her way to her coronation, as well as to every state opening of parliament of her reign. This is the crown the queen wears in postage stamps, bearing her image, instantly recognizable around the world. The diamond diadem was made by Rundell Bridge and Rundell in 1820. The rose, thistle, and shamrocks represent England, Scotland, and Ireland, and are set with 1,333 diamonds. Over the years, Queen Elizabeth loaned many of them to family members for special events. In 2011, Kate Middleton wore the Cartier Halo Tiara, which contains nearly 1,000 diamonds at her wedding to Prince William, while Meghan Markle donned Queen Mary's stunning Art Deco-style diamond bandeau for her 2018 wedding to Prince Harry. It was a tiara that hadn't previously been spotted in public since the 1940s. Not only the late Queen Elizabeth II's personal jewelry collection includes some of the rarest jewels in the world, but arguably the most impressive is the Royal Archive Nizam of a Hyderabad Necklace, estimated to be worth around £66.3 million. The Princess of Wales was lucky enough to wear the Queen's incredibly sentimental jewels when she attended a black tie reception at the National Portrait Gallery in 2014. Wearing a midnight blue Jenny Packham dress for the occasion, Princess Kate embellished her outfit with the multi-million pound platinum and diamond necklace personally lent to her by the Queen. The Princess of Wales remains the only royal lady to have worn the Nizam of Hyderabad piece besides the Queen herself. In light of the monarch's death, it seems likely that the necklace's new ownership falls to Kate, who may be in line to inherit the precious piece. The Nizam of Hyderabad necklace isn't the only piece of jewelry the late Queen personally lent to her granddaughter-in-law. Prince William may be second in line to the throne behind his father, Prince Charles, but that doesn't mean he and Kate Middleton are already preparing for their roles as king and queen. And now we have a better sense of the crown we'll see the Duchess of Cambridge wear when it comes time for a coronation. Queen Elizabeth, who died at age 96, had one of the largest and most expensive private collections of jewels in the world, and at the heart of it, around 50 stunning tiaras. Some of the pieces, her crowns and brooches, as well as maternal maces and rings, form part of the crown jewels, which are displayed at the Tower of London and are gawked at by around 2.5 million tourists every year.